Mabuhay! You're about to watch a video presentation about Donchan Channels. Donchan Channels were introduced by Richard Donchan. The volatility indicator is displayed as high and low bands, which are plotted as the highest high and lowest low over the last period time intervals. It looks like the other volatility indicators such as Bollinger Bands. A middle band is also present as the average of the two bands, but is optional. A 20-day period is set as a default value. The Dunchan channel works well in the trending market. It is usually employed to identify breakout prices. When the prices break outside the bands, a possible breakout might occur. On one hand, when the prices are moving within a channel, a possible reversal might occur. If a security traded or closed above the upper band or above the highest high, a long position is established. If a security traded or closed below the lower band or below the lowest low, a short position is established. The Donchan channel is a calculation of the highest high and lowest low over a specific number of previous high and lows. The example chart shows a price range followed by a breakout. When price closes above the Donchan channel, buy long and cover short positions. When price closes below the Donchan channel, sell short and liquidate long positions. Donchan channel is different to Bollinger Bands because it employs a simple calculation using only the recent high and low prices rather than standard deviations or other indicators. Donchan channels are not usually smooth, so they tend to react immediately to changes in the highest high and lowest low. Prices will rarely be outside a Donchan channel even during a breakout of a price range because the Donchan channel will move to the new high or low on the next bar.